Hello, happy people. Donovoxel on the mic. Here today to find the answer to a question that I struggled to find and uh, how to face the problem of calculating TNT fall distance. Let's take a look to what I've uh, found out. Here, right behind me, you can see a bunch of contraption I made just to show you a few things I found uh, in uh, a blog by what's the name of the guy random j farmer and the blog is on github but i leave you that in the description his blog contains a lot of uh, informations about uh, what you have to take into account when uh, figuring out when designing a system like this the blog has many uh, tables charts uh, from which you can do some calculation or some examples of setups, you can use it uh, in order to realize your project or to make uh, the investigation uh, you are doing. I was doing both. So I hope uh, this will help you and uh, suggest you to check uh, his um, blog because it has a lot of uh, um, interesting information beyond uh, the one I'm showing you today. Here we are in front of the first question you have to ask yourself when designing this system. So it's a push duplicator or a pull duplicator you want to use or you want to use a dispenser because uh, you don't like uh, duplication as it's, uh, you feel it uh, kind of cheaty. It may be. One thing you have to know, dispenser have a 40 delay. So the primary TNT appears here after four ticks from the activation and this this thing they are equal to pull duplicator this one duplicates when the when the piston is retracted while this design more common uh, duplicates the tnt when the piston is pushed both duplicates so prime the tnt at the same exact moment in which they are moved anyways as the pushing and the retraction usually takes four ticks pulling um, duplicators are in this in this thing equals to dispensers another aspect he covers is uh, manual activation versus activation by redstone mechanism in which the second this one seems to be more reliable uh, because uh, manual inputs uh, are processed in the tick before the redstone inputs. Another aspect he takes into account is uh, which releasing method would you use. If you want to use a piston release which blocks the TNT fall evidenced by the red glass and let it fall down or if you want to use a waterlogged trapdoor usually in obsidian because uh, it's just safer. And uh, as the trapdoor remains open just uh, two or three ticks, there is not enough time, two ticks with the observer method, there is not enough time for it to make the water spill. And this monstrosity you see here is the setup I, I set up in order to do my investigation. And here is a bar showing uh, the negative epsilon coordinate from uh, the... Um, falling mechanism the release mechanism and uh, it has numbers well and i um, lighted out where i want to be the trunk where the trunk of my farm will be expelled and uh, where other blocks will be at the pushing limit of the pistons in order to be blasted by tnt so it's the actual test bar for uh, for my for the machine I'm building, but uh, you just uh, can build uh, a similar one with the kinds of uh, stones uh, and uh, materials you are going to blast. Then on the upper side we have also the mechanism. I chosen as you, as I said the what's doing that here? Oh, oh yeah, it's where I when I summon the structure. <laughs> okay. What happens here is that we have the releasing method, which uh, is activated by this circuit, and these four circuits are different timing. Here 
is the duplicator, the pooling one, as I said, and uh, never forget, especially in this, that's a pooling one, but in all, to set at least three ticks of delay in the input. Otherwise, uh, it pushes, but the piston spits the whole duplicator and uh, retracting, it doesn't dupe. So it, uh, it actually retracts uh, two times, but uh, duplicating the TNT ones uh, that uh, can case you issues in which you don't understand why all working perfectly but uh, this circuit seems to work uh, in couples the first or and the third the second and the fourth apparently randomly well it's because if you don't set this delay it just uh, works one time a time instead of two <laughs> then the input comes obviously all from this uh, Ito hopper clock the snow is ruining everything like always and uh, it has inside five it should have five items because five is the time to have this uh, torch which activates all the circuit activated every four seconds that's every when the TNT explodes but since we hold the TNT and release uh, we can actually make it dupe uh, every four uh, items instead of uh, every five which is like uh, every 4.2 seconds every 3.2 seconds instead of every four the only torch output from the hopper clock goes to this fit, fit tape this is a piston fit tape as any piston fit tape has two opposite pistons which have a delay and two opposite pistons which have less delay these are uh, pretty immediate as activation this one and this one while these two this one and the opposite one on the upper corner has a delay to work it and they have two empty corners the two opposite corners are obviously empty so this takes 10 blocks of space but it's actually an eight so we have two two cycles of four with the activation scrolling and giving the input to the line to the output line that these are as you see timings we want to use subsequently to release uh, the um, trapdoor and the TNT at uh, different timings so it will fall and blast at different level and this is set up in this way in order to peel our test block from the bottom up like a, like a kebab but from bottom up <laughs> and <laughs> And uh, why this? Well, because uh, if we first blast down here, then blast a little bit up, and then blast, we have uh, all the pieces we brought, we break, we have them falling straight down without having anything um, where to stop, and they all get, uh, the mostly get collected without being destroyed. Oh, I have to change the weather again because. I chose a cool place to make this video, but it's very annoying. Let's go to start this machine and check out how it works. Whoa! Warping. So it dupes. We start from the bottom. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Back again to first. Second third and fourth level of height as you see it works like a charm and demolishes the block okay now how do i suggest you to put in place and operate to make this test what i suggest you is to copy if you can because this is not meant to be a tutorial just uh, an explanation this circuitry which uh, now is ruining everywhere but uh, here is the Ito hopper clock here we have the inputs the inputs to the piston fit tape it's uh, pretty easy stuff 
it's actually quite simple. <laughs> and uh, okay, you can find plenty of tutorials online uh, how to build a very easy piston fit tape like this. Then we have uh, the timing stable. These are all different delay which activates uh, uh, subsequently when the target block passes uh, in front of one of them. It connects the correct line. And then we have the pulling duper. And this also is a thing uh, for which you can find plenty of tutorials online. How do I make the test usually? Well, uh, I demolish all of these and simply try to set all the lower level clearly as less you retain the TNT block the farther it will fall down so I try I begin my test just to connecting them at um, with a small delay then go down make use of uh, structure blocks because uh, they are very useful in order to make this kind of test I load the test bar I called it like this Struck loaded from Minecraft test bar Okay now the test bar is uh, loaded back and we can check with this timing how much it takes to the time I set there to go down to arrive to fall the TNT and at which height it will blast and as we see I go here on the table and try on all the delays to set something more let's go roughly with uh, 4 ticks the maximum and then we decrease as we see it's uh, too much then reconnect the redstone otherwise uh, with some inputs if they don't have an output the TNT will blast uh, into the, um, the waterlogged um, trapdoor anyway anyway it's not a problem because this uh, system is very safe and doesn't allow the TNT to explode breaking the machine now we start and see this timing how much distance it does and it arrives pretty much perfectly where I want just a bit low so at this point I can decide that uh, this distance is uh, good for me and step on to what I want to be the second height at which TNT falls for this we have uh, some calculations some tables and um, even a little bit of software in that blog I said you before in order to set the values but uh, here em empirically um, as I'm doing uh, is what probably best uh, fits for uh, the use uh, you're going to do so let's add other four ticks of delay in any one of these and now if this is first blast level one the lower here we are setting up for level two as we see this level one and now three times at level two and we can estimate is if is what we want or for example to have a bit smoother uh, deleting annihilating of the structure we want it to have uh, it with uh, a bit more uh, a tick more on the repeaters in order to annihilate this dent that uh, for someone might be annoying we want to have it uh, consumed smoothly and start to set what will be the third delay so we add other four ticks for example and here other four ticks and let's see yeah it's going on now the third yes now second time a third and we see we are pretty much okay 
TNT also you have to know it accelerates when falling so don't guess too much that uh, every four ticks of delay or every same amount of delay you add you will have the same fall distance added because uh, it's not like this um, falling entities have an acceleration in minecraft then we come here and we add the last delay which i suppose to be enough two ticks more to don't have the tnt blasting right down here below but uh, as soon as uh, it doesn't damage our yellow structure uh, it should be perfectly safe for the duper itself we can go for a last check here is the two now we have a three and now we have the four we just set and all the structure we are interested in destroying is actually destroyed we can also go a bit further i think with one tick delay more on the last pulse okay then we go down we regenerate with uh, with structure blocks our test bar we will give our test if all happens at the same sequence three obviously four and now it starts from the first and we have this destruction this second third four and here is how you test this kind of thing and how you set up a system which uh, will uh, blast TNT at different height levels in order to achieve the results you want for your farm. So, this is has been Bonovoxel, another time for you. Hope this, uh, the contents of this video will be useful uh, for many of you. And uh, good farming. See you soon on the next video. Goodbye!